Hi, this is part three of the video series on how to create an image search center in SharePoint Online. So in the last two videos, we have seen uh, how to use, how to create a computer vision API in Azure portal and how to consume it uh, within a Power Automate flow and update the image metadata within your SharePoint library columns, right? In this video, we are going to see how to configure the search meta, uh, manage, manage properties uh, which can be used as refiners within your search center. So once you have uploaded all the images into your library and uh, make sure that flow has run and all the properties of the images are updated like the tags and uh, caption and all, we have to make sure uh, that search picks up all these images, basically all these items from this library and crawls and identifies all the metadata for these images. So just to make sure what we can do is you can go to the uh, library settings of this gallery library where we have all our images uploaded and go to advanced settings and click on re-index document library. So what will this do is uh, it will say that uh, <coughs> it will it will try to re-index, it, it will try to recrawl all your items in the document library, try to update the indexes uh, in SharePoint uh, search. Yeah, so this could take a couple of hours. So, so in my case, I have uploaded the images uh, a while ago and uh, I know that they are all crawled and picked up in the index. So when you are doing it uh, for the first time, when you re-index the library, it could take a couple of hours uh, for the SharePoint search to index your library and get things updated, right? So once uh, the uh, SharePoint crawl is done, uh, we can then go to uh, the site settings and let's see if we can find those things in your uh, search schema, right? So under site collection administration, I click on search schema and go to crawl properties. So as soon as your uh, search indexing is done for your library, you will see, you, you should see all the custom columns which you created in your SharePoint library as crawl properties here. So if I search for ISX, that was the prefix I have given to all my custom columns, right? So when I search for the uh, search for ISX, I should see uh, all the crawl properties here. So ISX caption, color, image, height, width, uh, and other things. Uh, you will see uh, two sets of columns. Basically, for uh, if you see here for caption, I have a Q underscore text underscore ISX caption and ISX caption. So these are automatically created columns. So one will be mapped to your uh, managed property, uh, which we can use uh, for searching uh, within your uh, that can be used within your query template or uh, to boost the search results and also to refine the items based on this. So once you make sure that your crawl properties are created. Uh, go back to your managed properties so in my case I have created these columns as site columns and then added it to the library so uh, you could also follow the same thing uh, and managed properties will be automatically created in such a case. So if the managed properties are not automatically created, make sure uh, that you create the managed properties which are uh, shown in the screen now. Uh, so we'll have ISX captions, OWS, TXT. So this is for the caption and uh, this is of type text and I'll not, this is not a multi uh, valued uh, property and you can select the, the rest of the properties uh, the way you want it. So all, all my managed properties are queryable and they are searchable. Everything can be retrievable and only two of the values are multi, right? Which, uh, which is the color and tags and coming to the mapped crawl properties. So these are all uh, automatically mapped uh, to the Q underscore text underscore ISX caption and the respective columns for the other managed properties. So for color and tags, I had to edit these managed properties and change the crawled property mapping. So how do we do it? Uh, the reason uh, we, I have changed the crawl properties is because these accept, uh, these property accepts multi-value, uh, the default generated columns were not uh, correctly updating the values for multi-value, uh, multi-choice value, multi values. So what I have done, I had to go edit uh, the managed property uh, for both color and tags and uh, we can change the crawl property 
which is mapped to this managed property from here so here you can see mappings to the crawl property so the uh, under this uh, you can click on add a mapping and make sure you select osx uh, sorry isx underscore ows color i hope that's the right crawl property name no okay let's search for isx yeah so make sure we select ows underscore isx color for the color and for tags managed property you select the isx underscore tags do not use uh, these two crawl properties because uh, they are not updating the multi select uh, multi choice values properly so that's one configuration this, which we have to uh, change in the managed properties so likewise just to repeat uh, the managed properties will be automatically created uh, when you have a site columns added to your library so if you're directly adding columns into your library and if the managed properties are not created make sure you create the managed properties as shown here so we'll use captions color black and white clip art and tags right so once these uh, managed properties are ready uh, I think we can uh, continue using the search. Uh, so another important thing uh, after you have updated the managed properties, if at all you are creating them for the first time. So after you have updated the managed properties, uh, sometimes it's also required for the search to crawl again basically to index the items again so in such cases you have to once the changes are done you can go to site settings and you can re-index the site uh, by going to search and offline availability and you can click on re-index site again this re-indexing could take a couple of hours so once the re-indexing of your site is done then your managed property should be working fine and then we can configure uh, the search center using the pnp modern search web parts so in the next video we'll be talking about uh, what are pnp modern search web parts and uh, how we can configure them on a modern site and create a search center thank you for watching uh, see you in the next video